What's going on today guys? Today I'm going to show you how to modify apps or games in iOS. This is mine is 9.3.2. This will work on anything in the iOS 9 uh, firmware. But anyway, what you need is this app right here. It's just Game Jam. I'll show you how to get that quick. Just go into Cydia, search Game Jam, and it should be one of the first ones. Right there. very cool app and it'll help you a lot if you like modifying stuff so we're going to be modifying pocket frogs today just because just to show you how it works anyway let's get that out of here um you can see well just for an example we'll be modifying my coins down here all right so we'll exit pocket frogs you just have to make sure that you run it actually you might have to run it while this is in the background so we'll switch back over to it quick. And then we'll go back. And first thing you want to do is tap right up here in the corner here. And then you want to select Pocket Frogs. And then you want to remember your uh, your value. So this would be 1,009,840. So we'll go back into... Game Jam here. So be one billion eight thousand something. Eight thousand nine thousand eight forty. Nine thousand eight forty. Okay, let me just double check it and yeah, that's right. So we'll hit search right there. And it'll search for it. It'll bring up two results and that's because it's going to be the only value in this game with a value of 1,009,840. Um, if it does happen again, I guess I'll show you show you what happens if that number doesn't come up to be a low number. So we'll go in here, we'll check both these, and then we'll go down here to the bottom right corner, it'll be a little edit, and we'll change it to 2 billion. Modify, and modify complete. And we'll switch back over to the app. It won't refresh right away, so you want to do something that causes you to use coins. So we'll buy a frog, and there you go. 1 billion 999 million. So there you go. You know it works. So I'm going to show you a different, just say a different circumstance, where um, hmm. we'll do uh, we'll do potions next. This, this might be a little bit easier to uh, use as, as an example. So we'll do that. It's 34334. Go back in here. Every time you re-edit something, you want to hit the refresh button up there. And it'll do the initial search just to re reset the system. So 34334, hit search. 423 results. Okay, this is going to be a good example. So what you want to do is you go back in here and use a potion. So now you have 3, 34,333. And you come back in here and you switch it to 34,333. Hit search again. And it brings it down to 1. And then you can edit this. Select it again. Go down here at the bottom right. And you can edit it. And let's say we'll do 99,999. By the way, I think the limit is 35,000. So it will just max it out to that. So then we'll go back here. We'll switch to different frog and we'll use a potion. And there you go. We have 34,462. So 34,463 is the limit. So there, it worked. And that's how you modify games in iOS. This works for a lot of games. Like I've done it for Pocket Frogs, Giant Boulder of Death, Appleton Crawler. I have not gotten it to work because there's nothing really, there's no really no no real numerical values to edit. So that'll work with pretty much any game you can that has um, numerical values. So you could uh, modify them and you can get into hacking. It's kind of fun actually. So anyway, I hope you find this helpful, and I'll see you guys later.